I think a lot of people just don't want to talk about insurance because I think they're, they're embarrassed because they don't have insurance. Kathy Golden is a small business owner with her husband in St. Paul's Lower Town District. We have no health insurance because we can't afford health insurance and we really can't afford to have our employees covered with insurance. So it's, it's a tough spot. We can't get sick and we work seven days a week. Kathy and her husband, Jim, recently hosted a Q&A session at their local deli in St. Paul, a gathering of concerned citizens trying to learn what's new in health care reform. We're going to talk tonight about the Patient Protection and Affordable Care Act. You know, health care should be a right. We should be able to go to the doctor. And I've been faced with a situation of, well, I can't afford to take my child to a doctor. You know, it's one thing if I can't go to the doctor, but it's really awful if you can't take your child into a doctor. The bill was signed on March 23rd uh, by the president. That's March 23rd. I'm worried. I'm very worried. I'm, I'm worried every day of my life. Storm is a barista at the deli. She's been without health care for years while working to support her family. My daughter and my granddaughter are covered by Minnesota Care. You know, thank God. I'm a different story. I'm 60 years old. Minnesota Care has dropped and denied me once. Dropped me once, denied me four, four times. I think this is my um, fifth time trying for Minnesota Care. And it's not looking very good. Minnesota Care was designed to give health care access to low income earners. But recent changes in the law have left Storm ineligible. I'm out in the cold. And I'm, it's not just me, it's people with. You know, you know the history of the healthcare system. This is my story, and my story is I'm mad. And you've worked hard. I have worked my entire life. Kathy is looking forward to healthcare reform that will improve access to affordable care and help her insure her own employees. Bite the bullet, it's not gonna be bad, it's gonna be good for our country. Things have to change because we can't continue going on the way we are.